Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this video is supposed to help you find a place and live near Brock University. If you're a Brock student, you basically have three options, Glendale, Thorold, and the downtown St. Catharines. I personally lived in Glendale for two years. It was the closest to Brock. But the problem is that all the houses in Glendale are old houses and um, not the best of the place to live in. So this is my place in downtown Catherine's. I moved here after two years. So anyways, this is my place. This is called Regent Residency. And I was living on fourth floor. And uh, this was my first time in Canada living in an apartment like the city people do. And I loved it. So let me show you my place. It was a four BHK, but thanks to COVID, People had gone home mostly, and I was living all alone, doing everything just on my own. So this is the living room. All the furniture you see around you was all given to me by Regent, so a huge shout out to Regent for making my life so much more easier. Uh, there was a huge window, which was literally a blessing in the time of COVID, because as you know, Ontario just kept going in lockdown after lockdown. And this was my only source of vitamin D. And this is the kitchen area, which was the source of me gaining all the pounds. Whoever said I should learn to cook, that wasn't a good idea at all. And on to the washroom. The washroom was great. I have almost just one complaint, which was it didn't have a bathtub and I hated that. I missed the bathtub, yep. This is my room. Again, the window. There's just something about waking up to the window in the morning. My bed, it was pretty good good in size and I almost always slept with my electronic devices right next to me. My parents would not approve. This was my study st space. It was barely touched or used because I preferred working from either the living room or my bed. When you're living alone, you're basically living just inside your mind almost all of the time and it's easy to get lost in intrusive, obsessive thoughts. In those times, it was really a relief. Both the TV, to just watch shows to get my mind off of them and even the sky the sky is so huge and you look at it and then you're like there are bigger things in life for me to worry about than the smallness of my circumstances right now and it's pretty great it's a good reminder and then this is a study lounge for a person like me who gets bored a lot sitting and just staying in one place this was amazing because um, I could just come here, study. It had multiple levels and multiple places for you to study at, even a study room for you to do project with your groups and a TV. I watched my Marvel Loki series in here again. I just turned off the lights. I brought popcorn for my home and I just enjoyed the home theater experience, which was amazing next on to the gym i honestly didn't appreciate the gym enough when i reached regent but it was when lockdown took the gym away from me when i desperately wanted it back so when it did reopen i would spend a substantial amount of my time here and uh it was much needed because i had learned how to cook and now i had to do all that extra work to undo the damage of that skill and I experienced a lot of seasons living here in the six months. This is the beauty of Canada. My favorite one was the snow. Look at that. Look at that white, pristine beauty. Just look at it. Look at me zooming in to just take it all in. There's just something about sitting inside in your warm coziness and seeing all the cold outside. Yeah, just a breakup from my life was missing to make this more perfect, but it was quite picturesque. Anyways. And then I just couldn't get enough of snow from my window apparently, so I had to go out, record it, so I could send it to my family, make them jealous of my amazing scenery that I was seeing from my house. And then I got to experience the perfect, most amazing summer and then the rain. Yeah, rain was pretty great too. Oh yeah, I graduated in this house. 
I threw a graduation house party for all my friends who also graduated. I started my first full-time job over here. That's my workspace. I brought the study space out. I made so many memories. And um, yeah, I even played with a ladybug one day. And yeah, that's the window you see. A lot of times I just would doodle on my window, write ideas, work-related ideas, or even sometimes if I was watching many shows or been watching shows and I would find an amazing dialogue, I would just write it on the window. I did a thousand piece puzzle on this table, which uh, I'm sorry to say I did not finish. I also got super addicted to brown sugar brown tea in this apartment. Oh, and yes, downtown St. Catharines, if you're going to live there, good news for you. You're going to have a lot of places to go trekking to and even walking or running. It was just the views of that place, the things that you will see near you, uh, the lakes, the rivers. And even the shops and people just, you know, sitting outside on patios, having fun. Pretty great. And that is all about St. Catherine's. I was supposed to post this video like six months back, but then um, perfectionism and procrastination got in the way. But I'm glad because this way I have a lot of memories to share. If you like this video, do give me a follow on Instagram too. I post a lot of crazy stuff. But if your family uh, do not do that, my mom says I can do whatever I want in life, but I'm not supposed to have family follow me on social media. Apparently it's too censored for you guys. So, okay, take it up with my mom if you're family and want to follow me on Insta. Otherwise, if you are into life stuff, philosophy, psychology, Marvel, then do give me a follow on Instagram too. I do post crazy stories. Oh, and um, like subscribe and comment yep almost forgot that part <laughs>